Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today's watch is going to be a Seiko SRP G39, and this is a Seiko 5, and I believe it's a part of the Street Series. And I think this watch is just perfect. It's only priced at $275, but before we start, this watch is being brought to you by AZ Fine Time, and this is their... um. Uh, information azfindtime.com and here's the phone number you can contact those guys and they'll be happy to help you out with this one it's in stock now this watch is probably the nicest um affordable seiko that i've seen and i'm probably gonna buy this one myself now let's check out the strap first you got a nice calf leather strap with these uh with white stitching and you have like a, a scale alligator pattern which is real nice and the watch strap is really thick that's what I like it's a nice quality strap it's not a thin and dainty strap it's it's really thick um, for a Seiko strap and you get Seiko on the buckle just a, a brush buckle nothing special but this watch is really great because it doesn't it's devoid of all the polish it's almost like a tool watch and if we look at the case you all have all that bead blasting and this is just wonderful you get a domed hardlex crystal you get a clear case back with the uh, Seiko uh, 4R uh, 36 I believe in there and you get a date date complication that is just about everything you uh, need. Now you got all these applied uh, uh, markers, I mean applied uh, numbers on here in gold gilt. You have the gold gilt hands, you have a red second hand with the popper red right there and then you also have a 24 second track um, in there for military time, I mean a 24 minute uh, hour track for military time and you have automatic at the bottom and then under 12 o'clock you have the Seiko 5 uh, logo now this watch does uh, come with Luma Bright. You get Luma Bright right outside of the numbers on the small indices or triangle at the 12. And you get these nice sword style hands and a nice uh, red arrow pointer second hand. Now the date box is square day date. And look at that dial. That dial is a Fume type textured dial. And this thing is just packed with features for the price. I'm trying to move it on that dial so you can see the texture on there. See right there? You got a real nice, lovely textured dial. And that is really, really nice. Now let's look at the measurements on this because this is going to be able to fit everybody. You got a case size. Let me see. Go right across the side. The case size is right around 38, which is perfect for most wrists. Then it's not that thick. It is about 13 millimeters thick. And then the lug to lug is going to be a scant. Uh, what is that coming in at? That's coming in about a 47 lug to lug. And then you have a 20 millimeter strap, which is going to be... Uh, guaranteed uh, a strap monster uh, for this watch. Now you have no sign crown, but you do get drilled. You do get drilled lugs because this is going to be a strap monster. I love the all brush aesthetic. I love the brush bezel, and I like the way they did this dial. And there is a couple other ones out, but the blue with the gold is my favorite. And for just over 200 bucks, I think I'm going to have to pick one of these up. It's a real nice watch. Now, let's take a look at this on the time grapher, and we'll see what it's coming in at. Let me turn it on. Mine as well, right? Let's see what this coming in on the time grapher. Wow. 
You got a beat error of 0.1 milliseconds, 52 degree uh, lift angle, uh, 238 degrees uh, amplitude, and look at that. That is running chronometer specs. I know Seiko's can vary. D this one, you know, I, I just uh, I grabbed it out the box, and this is what it's running. It's running chronometer specs. Uh, let's try another position. Um, Try another position and see what it comes in at. Let it settle down. Hmm. That is one second a day. That's also fantastic. And let's try one more position. You see I changed the position again. Okay, now it's minus four seconds a day. And that is with the crown up, like you're walking down the street. Now it's minus six. So for a $200 watch, I have to say this is running excellent. I I, I can't uh, fault or down any watch that is that, is that economical and is going to be running that good. I mean, there's just there's nothing you can't pick it apart. Not a not at just over two hundred dollars, you know. That's the Seiko Five. And now let's see what it looks like on my wrist. My wrist is seven point two five inches. Try it on here. Man, does that fit nice? Wow. That is a nice everyday watch. Down the barrel shot. This is a good looker. Gold gilt indices, gilt numbers applied, gold hands. And last but not least, I'm going to give this a blast of light. And we could do a loom shot and see what it looks like. And it's loomy bright, so I'm sure it's going to be pretty good. Uh, let me cut these studio lights off. That's the loom. Wow. I don't know how you can beat this, guys. So that's a Seiko 5 uh, uh, Street Series. And once again, this reference number is... Um, SRP G39 coming in at $275, suggested retail price, and that's a winner. Let me know what you guys think about that. That's the watch once over for today. I'll talk to you guys later. God bless.